So with this Green Seeker handheld, what you do is you hold it over the corn and hold the trigger and go down the row, keeping it about a foot or two off the corn. And then when you let go, it gives the average. So we're around 0 0.77, 0 0.8 is what I'm getting. And this is 60 gallon an acre nitrogen. So this really is a test plot and rich area. So this is the target reference nitrogen level. And we're gonna go over to an area that isn't an enrich. So we're now on the McGee farm. Uh, we were just at Dean Foster's plot where he did 60 gallons, so that's our enrich test. This is just uh, 45 gallons, I think, um, and it's actually looking pretty good, at least visually. The corn's nice and tall, and I'm gonna do an average. So we'll go down, if you wanna follow me. And you can see we're averaging 0.77. So the 65, 60 gallons was uh, about 0 0.8, 0 0.83, even as high as 0 0.85. And this is measuring 0.77. So we're gonna, even though the corn looks the same, we're gonna input it into the app and see what the recommended, recommended um, uh, secondary application is. Okay, one of the things that comes with the Green Seeker handheld is the free uh, Trimble Connected Farm Scout app. And this is just a normal farm note-taking application with the satellite imagery where you can create uh, notes and comments throughout the field. But one of the features in this is to actually uh, input your uh, NDVI ratio and it will make a recommended um, side dress or um, mid-season application recommendation. So uh, what we do is we just go to map and scout and I'm going to go down to the farm. We've actually moved locations so I'll zoom back into where we were. So this is the McGee farm right here and I'm just on a slow internet connection but it'll fill in in just a second. Um, so we were approximately right there and what we do is we just hit the play button and we can do an area or a line. I'm just going to pick an area of approximately where we were and hit stop and you can see we have basically we have an option. So we can do just basic crop conditions, um, diseases, insects, we can take photos, that type of thing. But um, the NDVI FP is what we want. And the NDVI reference value is what the basically your enrich strip. So we're going to change that to what we found. And I'm putting in 0.82 because uh, I know the previously it showed 0.77, um, but uh, the more I took it, the more it averaged between 0.8 and 0.85, uh, and 0.82 was, was realistically the average for that enriched section. Um, NDVI FP is actually practic, the P stands for practice, and that's what we actually measured um, on our farm, 0.77. The soil, that's optional, uh, it's at default of 0.15, so that for the NDVI soil. And the maximum yield target, and this is what your uh, objective is for your target yield. And we'll put 250, and when we hit enter, we come up with a recommended value um, for an N rate. So it is coming in at 19.75 pounds per acre, and this, it even charts the a logarithm. So basically what this is, um, is the a logarithm that's been developed by uh, Oklahoma State University and it's basically the green seeker value. So it's saying basically uh, lower on the, if this was falling lower on the chart, um, it's basically the plant is not healthy enough and would not benefit from any additional nitrogen. Uh, the peak is where um, the plant, it, the, uh, the logarithm recognizes that there could be um, a potential yield gain at this highest peak by having uh, more nitrogen added. And then it slopes downward basically saying um, that if your values are really healthy uh, and your N values are really good, then there's no additional uh, nitrogen uh, applications required. So it's uh, just above the peak there 
and it's saying it's recommending about 20 pounds an acre of additional N to see that yield potential of 250 acres. Keeping in mind that uh, other variables like weather, uh, you know, if we have a drought in July and August, then obviously the this value um, is not is not um, going to be reflective. So other variables to keep in mind, obviously.